going on guys? Brandon Havrilla from Redmax Entertainment back today. We are doing a video on a the MyDMX3 software. Um, I haven't put out a new video in the MyDMX3 software series in a while, um, but they just released a new update version um, of the 3 software. So they released the December 22nd of 2017 version of the software which introduces some new features uh, and some stability updates to the software as well. So I figured it was appropriate for me to create a video um, kind of tutorial walking you guys through how, where, and when to find these updates um, and how to install them so you guys can get programming again and get right back where you left off. So basically you're going to want to navigate to ADJ's website and then you're going to want to navigate to the MyDMX3 page. You could do this by visiting their website, going to the search and search MyDMX3 or you can use the link I provided below which is this link right up here adj.com slash MyDMX-3. So either one you're just going to want to get to this page. Now once you get to this page you're going to scroll down You'll see the product description usually by default is highlighted. You're going to want to jump over to the Downloads tab. Now what this is going to do is give you a whole bunch of stuff from the user manual, the cut sheet, and a whole bunch of software release dates. So you're going to want to look for the most current. So here we have 2016, and at the bottom we have 2017. So it looks like the bottom is going to be the most current version of the software. And right here you'll see December 22nd release date. Now. How do you know when a new one's uh, when a new software update comes out? There's two ways of knowing. A, just come back here to the website and check every so often. Um, B, join. There's a ADJ MyDMX um, software users group on Facebook. It's managed by uh, James Keeley and I believe a few others as well. Um, so make sure you guys join that group there's always helpful people in there f to answer your questions and uh, help out and they'll post when an update comes out and is released and um, also the ADJ's page I know uh, the people from ADJ and ADJ themselves usually share um, share the posts when a new software update comes out so stay tuned to those two places now why would you want to upgrade there's two reasons you'd want to upgrade. One, like this version here, they're going to release new features. So they're going to, you know, no matter what it is, they might um, change the look of something or add more colors or something like that. So there's there's different stuff you could do, uh, new stuff that they're always adding to the software. The second reason you'll want to upgrade is for stability reasons. And uh, updates that fix glitches and bugs that were happening in the software so as you know software any software always has bugs and glitches and little things um, it's never really worked out completely depending on maybe your operating system or the other programs you're running at the same time or anything like that so ADJ works hard to always keep that software up to date and if there's any issues solve them as fast as they can so that's the second reason you may want to update. So I do recommend updating as soon as the new release comes out. So here we go. Once you get to this page and you scroll down here, you're going to find the software release you want. So here is my DMX 3.0 software December 22nd, 2017. That's what we want. Now I'm running on a Mac, so I'm going to choose the Mac one. If you're on a PC, you just choose the PC one and click the corresponding download button. So I'm going to click that. It's going to add down here. Um, I have it set up with Google Chrome, so it automatically goes to this bottom bar here. But of course, um, you might have it set up to go to your downloads, or if you're in Safari, um, I believe there's a download thing up in the top right of the browser. So just depending on your browser, there's going to be a different spot, but it's going to start downloading immediately. And this software update is going to be downloaded in a zip file. So if you're not familiar with that, you're going to have to unzip it, which is pretty easy. On most computers, you could just double tap it once it's finished downloading, and it will automatically unzip for you, leaving you with a folder which contains the software update. I'll be back with you guys as soon as this is finished. Alrighty, guys, so I am back, and here we go. Three, two, one. The MyDMX December 22nd version is downloaded. So as you can see down here, it's finishing up. There we go. It's blinking. That means it's done. Now I'm also, I have my download set up to go to my desktop. So right up here, you're going to see MyDMX December whatever 2017. That's what the zip folder looks like. So as I mentioned before, you can double tap this. You'll see it'll say expanding MyDMX3. 
Once it expands, you'll see it pops up a folder here that has the same name. You can remove that zip file that's no longer needed. That's just a way to transfer large files and uh, kind of compress them while they're being downloaded. Once we open up this folder, you'll see I've got a DMG here because I'm on Mac. This is just a so regular software install. Um, so it's basically just like you're installing a fresh copy of the software. You're going to open it up. It's going to take you through the install process depending on your computer, whether it's Windows or Mac. You're just going to follow the directions and open this driver here. You'll see it's going to open down here, verifying my DMX3. Is an application downloaded from the internet? Yes, that's okay. I'm going to hit OK. It's set up. Set up wizard. Basically, you're just following the steps on screen. It's going to ask you where you want to save it. Um, you have, uh, yep, OK. You're going to choose what you want to install. I want everything. And I'm going to click install. It's going to tell you how much space it's going to take up. Uh, they want to make changes, so I'm going to give them my password to allow that. And it's going to start installing. Now once this is finished installing, guys, it's very easy. You're just going to go to where your applications normally are. You're going to find a DJ's My DMX, and you're just going to open it like you normally would. And there you go. Your ADJ My DMX software is up to date, guys. Enjoy.